Today is March is in memory of Luisa Lisa by the Coral Reef Christian Association. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. As we begin our celebration, we acknowledge that we have sinned and we ask for God's mercy. Your ascent to heal the contrite heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy from those who have rescued from the slavery to sin. You bestow eternal gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Lord. As Jesus was walking along, a demoniac who was mute was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the one who had been mute spoke, and the crowds were amazed and said, Never has anything like this been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, By the ruler of the demons he casts out demons. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in the synagogues, and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and curing every disease and every sickness. When Jesus saw the crowds, he had compassion for them, because they were harassed and helpless, like a sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out his laborers into the harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's gospel raised a couple of questions in my mind that I guess still need some reflection. And the first was, why were people following Jesus? Was it because he cured or cast out the demon, cured the sick? Or was it because of what he taught? Sometimes it does seem that it was more by what he did than what he said. And if you're looking for various signs, is that enough for faith to increase? The second question follows, when the Pharisees saw the good that Jesus was doing, they had to undermine it, trying to find some reason why the good that Jesus was doing was not in keeping with God. How often do we diminish the good others are doing? and not fully appreciate God's gift of that person and the good deeds they do, when in fact we should be doing good deeds ourselves. The third question is probably a little bit more controversial. But it does occur in the Gospels when Jesus says, the laborers are few. Obviously we think in terms of vocations that there are few fewer vocations, at least in our area. And every so often I wonder, is that God's will for the church? Is there some greater plan in the shortage of ordained ministers? And do we trust that God will bring good about good through this situation? We turn to our Father with confidence and bring our needs to him as we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Papa Francis, may he have the strength to continue his mission of reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the leaders of Canada, may they follow through on their commitment to truth and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christians, may we be instruments of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our world, may our efforts to safeguard the environment bear fruit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, may healing be theirs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the departed, may they find peace in eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, we thank you for gathering us as people of faith. Receive the prayers we bring before you and grant us what we need through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless us, you God, forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. In the love of God, the sacrifice of your hand, the praise and glory of his name, fell with the good of all his children. May this oblation, dedicated to your name, purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the light of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, 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 you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper is ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be given out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we forget the death of the Lord until we come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Claude, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive to all who trust us against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Yes, you Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, into your voices in the world, and our voices in us. Lamb of God, into your voices in the world, and our voices in us. Lamb of God, into your voices in the world, and our voices in us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my life. For God's communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you all worthy, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least crucially into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit you to be separated from me. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.